Later this month, you'll have the opportunity to witness something out of this world. 22 News Storm Team Meteorologist Nick Bannon explains what you're likely to see here in western Massachusetts during the solar eclipse. In less than three weeks on August 21st, we're going to be able to see a partial solar eclipse here in western Massachusetts. Not the full thing, but it's still going to be pretty cool. So August 21st is the date. The time 125 in the afternoon is when this solar eclipse begins. Now a solar eclipse is when the moon comes between us and the sun, so it blocks the sun. The best part of the eclipse happens at, at 244 in the afternoon on August 21st when 65% of the sun is eclipsed by the moon or covered by the moon. You still won't be able to look directly at it without protective eyewear, but it's still going to be a great sight to see even from here in western Massachusetts. And then after 244, we start to lose the eclipse and it should be all done by 358 in the afternoon. This will all depend, of course, on whether we have cloudy skies or clear skies. That'll have a big impact as to how good the eclipse is for us. Areas of total eclipse follow this line from the Pacific Northwest down through the middle of the country and down through South Carolina. That's where they will have a total eclipse where all of the sun gets blocked by the moon for a short window of time. So that's where no doubt uh, thousands of people are going to be go, if not millions, to check out this total solar eclipse. But even if you stay here, have protective eyewear on and we have some clear sky, you'll be able to see something cool in less than three weeks. I'm 22 New Storm Team Meteorologist Nick Bannon.